come to a kneeling position with your right leg in front, left leg behind, bringing the right foot in towards the groin, coming into pigeon pose. Sit up nice and tall with your hands at your side. Inhale, brace your abs, and on your exhale, walk the hands forward, lifting up way below the belly button on the lower pelvic floor. Hold here for 10 counts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Brace your abs. Walk back up to a tall spine. Plug your shoulders down. Pull the belly in. Inhale. Brace the abs and walk back out, folding forward. Make sure both sets of toes are pointed. Hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Brace the abs. Walk it back up. Slowly rise up on your knees. Switch your front leg. Setting up for pigeon pose on the second side. Sitting up tall with fingertips by your side. Pull the belly in towards the spine. Lift in and up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Fog a mirror as you exhale. Walking the hands forward. Holding here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, low belly lifts in and up as you walk the hands back towards the hips. Plug the shoulders down, pull the shoulder blades together. Pull the navel in towards the spine. Inhale and walk the hands back out. Holding for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Now exhale, walking the hands in. We're going to make our way to lie on our backs, coming to lie all the way down on our backs. From here, we'll take a moment to move our pelvis into flexion. So pelvic flexion is tucking the butt under like a scared puppy flattening the low back into the floor. I want you to maintain this puppy dog tuck and we're going to slide both legs out long, hip distance apart, both sets of toes pointed, lifting our right leg up so it hovers a few inches off the floor with the pelvic flexion with that flat low back hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, lower the right leg down, lifting the left leg up. Hold, 10, 9, 8. And as you're holding, make sure that low back is pressing into the floor. Hold for three, two, lower that leg. Switch back to your right leg. Hold it up. Hold for 10, 9, 8. Hovering from the floor, only a few inches. Pointed toes, shoulders plug down the back. Soften the sternum inward. Lift up way below the belly button on the lower pelvic floor. Lower that leg down, switch sides. So as I'm giving you some checkpoints, I'm going to keep track of the time so you just keep holding. And when I tell you, you can lower that leg and we'll go to the other side. Lower the leg, switching back to the first side, holding for 10 seconds, building the strength of the lower pelvic floor. Watch out for twisting or hiking in the hips. Keep the hips even, lower that leg. Switch back to the other side, hold it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lower it down. From here, we'll hug our shins in, rocking side to side, massaging that low back. So now that you understand the exercise, make sure the extended leg, both legs, the toes are really pointing. You're not locking out in the knees. You're really keeping your belly pulled in towards your spine and your puppy dog tuck. You're flattening your low back into the floor. Let's revisit this exercise. Sliding our legs back out, hip distance apart, pelvic flexion. Right leg comes up, hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, lower it down. Other leg comes up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lower it down. Check your pelvis. Tuck it under if it's not tucked. Lift up way below the belly button. Right leg comes up. Hold ten, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down, lifting the left leg. Keep your pelvis square. Keep alternating legs. Hold it up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug your shins in again. Rock side to side for five, four, three, two, one. The next exercise we'll be doing is a crunch up with the legs in tabletop. So the legs will be knees right over the hips, toes pointed still, shins are parallel to the floor. Our hands will come to our thighs. We'll crunch up, lifting our chin to engage the front of the neck, those neck flexors. Push the hands into the thighs and the thighs into the hands. Hold it here. Make sure you still have that flat low back, that puppy dog tuck. Hold again for five, four, three, two, one. Now you know what you're doing. Legs in tabletop, pushing thighs into hands and hands into thighs, keeping your low back flat against the floor, making sure the knees don't go beyond your hips, that they stay right over the hips. Lower the legs down. So you can always lower the upper and lower body between sets. Crunching up, hands to thighs, and we hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower down, take your break, check your puppy dog tuck, soften your sternum in, plug your shoulders down, lift your chin, and take those legs up to tabletop, toes pointed, hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lower the legs down, take a little pause, check your pelvic position, pull the belly in towards the spine, lift in and up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Relax your front ribs in towards your back ribs. Press your back ribs into the floor. Float those legs up to tabletop. Hold them up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Push the hands into the thighs and the thighs into the hands. 3, 2. Lower those legs. We'll do one more here. Take it up. Hold it up. Push the hands into the thighs and the thighs into the hands. Keep your puppy dog tuck. Don't let the knees track beyond the hips. I'm keeping track of the time. Just two and one. Lower those legs down. From here, we're going to brace our abs to come up to a seated position. And let's fold over our legs here, hanging like a rag doll, breathing. Inhale one and exhale one. Inhale two, exhale two, inhale three, exhale three, inhale four, going to six, exhale four, inhale five, exhale five, and inhale six, rounding up. Take the hands behind the head, brace your abs, rolling halfway back, tucking our pelvis under, hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, soften your sternum, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, inhale back up to your tall spine, brace your abs, exhale puppy dog tuck, rounding halfway back, hold it back, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, inhale back up to your tall spine, give me one more of those, Rounding halfway back, soften the sternum inward, hold. 10, 9, 8, plug the shoulders down. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale back up to your tall spine. Round all the way down, back onto your back, hands at your side, feet hip distance apart and parallel, knees pointing up to the ceiling. Brace the abs and send the hips up into a glute bridge, holding them up. Inhale. Exhale the air out. Inhale. Peel down from the upper back, mid back to the tailbone, floating the arms overhead, plugging the shoulders down. Turn the chin side to side, allowing that neck to release. And inhale. Pull those arms back down to the hips as the pelvis goes up. Hold it up. Inhale one. Breathe. Exhale one. Going to two. Inhale two. Exhale peeling down. As the arms float overhead, shoulders plug down, turn the head right and left, right and left, 
And now just bring the arms down by your side. Great job. 